The FTSE has announced the results of the semi-annual index review. Vivek has all the details for us. Vivek, over to you. Well, uh, that's right. You know, last week was a busy week as far as passive fund uh, was concerned, given the fact that both MSA as well as FTSE went ahead and announced uh, the rejects. So, uh, post market hours on Friday, you know, FTSE released the list of stocks that will be included into the All World as well as All Cap Index. So, what we are tracking is the All World Index, you know, which is where the maximum amount of impact will happen. First, like you know, Abhishek mentioned, HDFC Bank will be in focus. The third and final tranche of the inflows will come in this particular region, and that is on March 15, 2024. Approximately $400 million worth of buying will happen on HDFC Bank on that particular session. Now, apart from that, there are 16 additions and one deletion from the All World Index. You know, uh, we'll go through the list of stocks and we'll highlight the ones that has the maximum impact. Sundaram Finance, a little over $60 million of inflows will be seen. Thermax, Metro Brands, Phoenix Mills, Prestige Estates, Poonawala Fincorp, Suzlon Energy, you know, will see the maximum amount of inflows, a little over $110 million. Uh, also, KP IT Tech, Jindal Stainless, Fact, that's Fertilizers uh, and uh, Chemicals, uh, Travancore, New India Assurance, Kalyan Jewelers, two, you know, uh, uh, Power Stocks, NLC, as well as NHPC, uh, as well as, R, you know, LJVN, RVNL, as well as Muscon Dock. The sole stock that is coming out of the All World Index is actually Embassy Office Park Street. That particular stock will see outflows of over $75 million. Thanks, Vivek, for that. Well,